hello um thank you for coming back to my channel and watching this video and I my purpose of this video is to actually show that you could make good art with you know not good supplies I had gotten these watercolors from Ross Ross is um I'm pretty sure Ross is pretty like nationwide and well known but if you don't know about it it's a store where they kind of like sell more discounted like items their the items are new but it's just more discounted it's not as good quality and this is kind of where I got these watercolors from they're the Pinelli um, watercolors and when I started watercoloring I wanted to just get something that I could learn how to use and I know people say that oh a lot of times people don't like watercoloring or they don't like a certain art pro or art medium because it's not the best quality so you don't really get good results with it and I do agree to that that's definitely true but I feel like if you're just practicing and you're just starting out you don't need the best so when I was starting out I didn't want the best like what if I hated watercoloring and I had these super expensive supplies that would have been ridiculous right so I found these super cheap I think they were like three dollars for a set of like 12 I believe set of 10 or 12 right and they work well and I actually I really like them I use them as my travel watercolor because if I accidentally lose them then I don't regret it too much compared to like a more expensive watercolor set right which long story short I've gone and traveled a lot um, just like small trips not like huge trips I do small trips and I always bring some sort of like art supply with me and one time I brought some art supplies I thought I lost them I was really sad and I actually found them like a year later in the bag that I had put all my stuff in so uh, yeah cheap art supplies great for travel because a lot of times people aren't doing their professional work while traveling they're going to just be doing their fun work you know just more relaxing more um, casual kind of style art and this is kind of what I use these paints for it was really casual kind of fun sort of painting anyways so yeah you don't have to have the best art supplies right you just have to have something and learn from it I know that this picture could be a lot better and a lot more vibrant if I had the best but I'm actually really happy with the way this picture came out um, granted I still needed to learn a lot more like you can obviously see with the way I was coloring the dog it just wasn't coming out right oh by the way the paper isn't also the best quality either. It's um, mixed media from Dal da Daily and Roller. Is that how you say that? Uh, yeah, Daller and Roni. Right? And I had actually gotten this um, book for free from someone, so this is really cheap. The I wasn't even using water brushes on this. I was just using. Actually, no. I was using a water brush. The orange one is a water brush, it's the Arteza water brush. Right? But, um, I do use, like, a bigger brush, which was actually an acrylic or a multimedia brush, right? And this black one I'm using is also a water brush. It's the Liquitex. But these were kind of, like, my cheaper brushes I just kind of threw aside. I never really had any intentions of using them, like, for my professional artwork, right? So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I just, like... I really lost my point here. But you don't have to have the most expensive art supplies in the world to make art. And it's more a little bit about this picture. So uh, I couldn't think of what to draw and I just started to draw a girl watering a plant and I was like, oh my gosh. For some reason this girl actually looks like my best friend who's male. But he just reminded me of this girl because I had drawn the little dog next to her and I was like, that looks like his dog. So then I started to draw all of his animals into the picture and that's kind of why you saw me like filling in the animals as I was going along because they weren't originally supposed to be there and I just kind of add, started to add them as I went alright so yeah this was definitely a fun picture to do I hope you like it I know it's a bit of a speed drawing but it was fun I mean I definitely do like some of the things I learned from this picture and that was you know allowing myself to make mistakes a little bit more unforgiving myself and 
just experimenting and having fun. Like, I feel a lot more confident in watercoloring now that I just let myself be free and loose because I'm not worried about wasting my supplies, right? So it's actually helped me a lot in learning. So you know what? I do encourage people to buy cheap art supplies, not to use as your main professional project, but just to learn and to experiment. And it's okay to learn and experiment, you know, because you don't feel worried that you're wasting all this money that you don't have, right? That's the good thing about art is that, you know, there's going to be uh, certain things that aren't as expensive. I don't know. I lost my point there. You know what? Just There's a lot of good things about art and about wanting to create and not letting yourself be afraid to create. Right? Anyways, I hope you liked this picture. I actually had a lot of fun doing it. Um, yeah. I mean... I kind of wish I did have different colors and all that because I did not like the blue floor, but it was actually kind of cute at the same time. So, um, yeah, hope you like it and please comment and subscribe or whatever you want. Right? Let me know kind of what your thoughts and ideas about cheap art supplies are. Right? Take care and hope you have a lovely weekend.